Jamie, I'd like you to cast your mind back to your days in the Old West. Okay, supposedly there's a cowboy myth from back then that you could disarm an opponent with your pistol without harming them. You mean you can shoot a gun out of their hand? Exactly. I was wondering when we'd get around to that one. The time has come. Back in the Old West, any good guy gunslinger worthy of a sheriff's badge could supposedly disarm the bad guy with a single sharp shooting shot. But is this really possible? And would you really leave him and any bystanders totally unharmed? Mine may not be so good the next time. So, Cowboy, since you were there, you want to tell us how it worked in the Old West? Well, there are two parts to this. The first is unarmed, and the second is unharmed. Which do you want to start with? Well, I'm thinking, how much force can you hold on to a gun with? Let's make a plywood cowboy, give him the same amount of holding strength, and take some shots at him. Easier said than done, but we can give it a shot. <laughs> so, first up, Quick Draw Savage sketches a plywood posse. And to give his trio of tangerine bad guys accurate handgun holding abilities, Jamie knuckles down and gets a grip. This stuff right here is some of our favorite stuff to have around because it's like hook and loop, but it's actually hermaphroditic. It sticks to itself. Ah, perfect. Next, the team saddles up and heads on down to the range, the gun range. It looks great. An orange posse of trouble. <laughs> We're going to have to shoot their guns out of their hands. <laughs> so I'm standing in the Chabot gun range, site of several other Wild West myth adventures by the Mythbusters, including Son of a Gun. I think he did it. Gunslingers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and what is bulletproof, both one and two. This time, to answer the question, could this, the primary sidearm of the Old West, be used in a nonviolent fashion? I.e., could you use this to shoot one of these out of your opponent's uh. hand and disarm him? Hey, Adam, come check this out. What do you got? This is my human hand grip simulator. I love it. How do you want to test it? If you hold on to this gun... Okay. ...and I yank it out of your hand and see what that feels like. All right. Feel like you got something? Yeah. I'll have you hold on to this thing just securely and I'll yank it out of there. And if I feel like they're the same, then we're in business. That's spot on. Really? Yeah. All right, let's mount it up and shoot at this puppy. OK. The gun is placed in the bad guy's grip simulator as if midway through the draw. And with the help of a sharp shooting laser, Adam and Jamie take aim, ready to fire. Perfect. So we're going to start off this myth with an impersonation. Oh, great. Here we go. Go for it. Drive straight. Stay above 50. Uh, how about another one? There's a bomb on this bus. If you slow down, it'll explode. All right, well, judging from your quotes, I take it we're testing another speed myth? Right. <clears throat> right. Ever since Adam and Jamie tested whether you can prevent a bus from flipping over by moving all the passengers to one side, everyone has been requesting the bus jump myth. I know this one. It's where the bus is speeding along and they get on an overpass that's unfinished and there's this huge gap. But somehow they pull off this leap across the gap, make it to the other side, drive away perfectly, and nobody's injured in the process. Exactly. You're not gonna do this to the whole myth, are you? Yes, I am. It's a classic scene from the green screen. 